This video shows how to make your GIS models operable offline, which can be quite useful when network connection isn't available. We'll use a scaled-down version of the product delivery model, which describes delivering products from manufacturers to distribution centers located within the Bavaria state in Germany. The data for GIS models is comprised of two independent components, map tiles, which are used to display the map itself, and routing data, which is used to create routes between the geographical points. To work offline, we need to obtain this data and store it with the model. Let's start with the map tiles. The tiles of the displayed map that you navigate when running a model are downloaded automatically. This process is visualized by the network access indicator in the status bar. Pan around the map and zoom in to the desired level to ensure that all the necessary tiles are downloaded. The network access indicator has disappeared, which means that all the required tiles have been downloaded and saved to the model folder. Now, let's obtain the offline routing data. First, you need to download a file containing the routing data for the model region. Such files are provided by Internet Geodata Libraries in the OSM or PBF formats. Please note that these files are quite large. AnyLogic extracts only the relevant data from them to create a routing graph. We recommend choosing the PBF file format, which is an optimized and highly compressed binary format version of OSM. After downloading the routing file, Select the GIS map in the graphical editor and navigate to its properties. Expand the Routing section and select the Loaded from PBF file option for the Routes R parameter. Here, you can select the routing method to use, the shortest, which considers only the route's distance, or the fastest, which additionally considers speed limitations on various segments of roads. We'll choose the fastest method. Click the Specify Routing Graph button to open the wizard for adding routing graphs. To create a new routing graph, choose the Create New option. Click the Browse button and choose the file. Select the PBF file containing the routing data for the Bavaria region. As you can see, this file occupies more than 500 megabytes. We'll leave the default routing graph name of the folder for storing the routing graph files. Since the delivery process in our model is handled by trucks, we select the car road type. The next step is to select the level of detail for the routing graph. The more roads are included into the graph, the bigger the resulting file is. The highly detailed file can take up to several gigabytes of disk space. Set the low level of detail to include primary and secondary roads. If needed, select the medium or the high level of detail. The medium level additionally includes tertiary, link, unclassified, and residential roads. The high level also includes living streets, service roads, and tracks. Note that roads are classified differently in different countries. To ensure that the selected level of detail is appropriate for the modeled region, refer to the local roads classification. Click Finish. AnyLogic will start processing the PBF file to create a routing graph from it. The conversion process may take some time. Once the conversion is completed, we'll have all the GIS data required for working offline. To view this data, right-click the model in the Projects tree and select Open Model Folder. As you can see, the cached GIS tiles and the routing graph files occupy just a few megabytes of disk space. You can now distribute your model by copying it to an external location. Make sure to copy the entire model folder containing the saved GIS data. Thanks for watching. Come back for more AnyLogic how-to videos.